hello everyone welcome back to dentistry and more we have a, another topic in epidemiology that is attributable risk and population attributable risk so we had seen in uh, cohort study we are analyzing relative risk so relative risk was nothing but comparison of incidents among exposed group and incidents among non-exposed group and we get a relative risk value suppose if it is 4 we can say that the risk in exposed group is 4 times compared to the non-exposed group but the attributable risk is a different concept where we are tracking the power of that particular causal factor in deciding the outcome okay if suppose we have smoking and lung cancer smoking is our cause and lung cancer is our outcome the attributable risk will determine the attributable power or contributable power of that particular risk factor okay relative risk was comparing the incidence in exposed and non exposed group and explaining the risk okay so there is a comparison group and that relative risk will be always a number so it will be like 3 4 6 5.2 6.3 but the attributable risk we are expressing it in percentage okay so the formula is little different that is incidence among exposed minus incidence among non exposed divided by incidence among exposed into 100 so that is attributable risk of that particular causal factor so incidence among exposed is a by a plus b so incidence is a and c exposed is a plus b and c plus d so a by a plus b minus c by c plus d divided by a by a plus b okay so let's forget about the calculation this is a concept okay so we get 60 percentage so that means the attributable risk or the attributable power of that particular causal factor that is smoking is 60 percentage which means if 100 people have that causal factor the 60 out of 100 would get the outcome in other words if 100 people smokes 60 people will get lung cancer okay so that is the attributable risk of particular causal factor so this percentage is not there in relative risk relative risk is a different concept compared to non exposed group the exposed group has this much risk five times risk seven times risk or eight or nine times risk this is particularly we are highlighting the attributable risk of a causal factor in percentage so population attributable risk is a different concept but almost same the thing is it is applying into a population here the formula is a little different incidence of total population minus incidence of non exposed group divided by incidence of total population so here we are including the incidence of suppose we are taking lung cancer and our causal factor is smoking so people are there with lung cancer due to many reasons right so not just smoking causes lung cancer there are other conditions which can uh, result in lung cancer so we are including all the lung cancer patients with all the causal factors which is uh, minusing from incidence of other reasons that is non smoking reasons okay so what we get we get only incidence of people with smoking as a causal factor 
that is incidence of lung cancer with smoking as a causal factor and which is uh, divided by incidence of total population and we get 60 percentage so that means if we remove that particular causal factor from the population we could prevent the incidence of lung cancer by 60 percentage in other words if we are stopping smoking of that population we could prevent 100 lung cancers out of 100 we could prevent 60 lung cancers so only 40 would happen okay that is the idea of population attributable risk this is commonly applied in preventive programs such as smoking cessation programs first we need to find out the population attributable risk okay so if you are applying the preventive strategies the tobacco cessation counseling this much incidence of lung cancer could be prevented so here here it is 60 percentage so we could prevent 60 lung cancers okay so total if it is 100 we could prevent 60 lung cancers so that is a concept of population attributable risk so the change is total population here it is exposed okay so total population exposed group that is only change so it is a concept what is attributable or contributable risk and population attributable risk i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you Thank you.